What if I told you you can now create, edit, and test your Superbase search functions without ever leaving the dashboard? That's right. No terminal, no Docker, just click and code. Whether you're fixing a bug on the fly or shipping a whole new endpoint, the new Edge Functions Editor from the Superbase dashboard is here to save you some serious time. But let's start from an empty dashboard. We can head over to the Edge Functions menu. And here it is. Here is a deploy a new function button. And we have three options from the in dashboard editor or using the CLI. This is the traditional old fashioned way of doing it, which is still valid. And via the AI assistant where you can just talk to AI and create a function. I'm gonna go ahead and do the editor. So here's the in dashboard editor that we have going on. And you can see that there's some templates going on. We also have other templates as well for different use cases like Superbase database access, storage upload, node built-in API example, express server, open AI text completion. This is a cool one to play around with. Stripe webhook, very common use case, sending emails, image transformations, and on and on. I'm sure we'll be adding more examples in the future. But let's just start out with this simple hello world example. So we can choose a template. If we want to edit the function, we can. Let me just leave it as it is. And let me change the function name to hello world. And let's hit deploy. Simple, right? That was it. The function is deployed. We have the endpoint and we can actually use a curl command to call it. Or we can actually go up here, click this test button to test out the function. We can give it some request body. Um, we can also add some query parameters if we want to or headers. We can change the um, HTTP method, but we're going to keep it all the way it is and send a request. And just like that, we got a response back saying hello functions. And I believe that hello is prepended with whatever we passed here is the name. So if I say hello, uh, if I wanted to say hello, Tyler, there you go. Uh, it says hello, Tyler. So that was simple, right? That was great. And we can also choose different roles. We can also pretend to be a different a user authenticated role. Uh, and we can choose a user to authenticate it with. So we really have the full range of configurations to test this thing out. And the great thing is we can always go back to the code and edit the existing function. So if we want to, for example, say, you know, we always want to say hello world instead of hello whatever, we can modify it hit deploy, make sure we're happy with the changes. And there you go, the function is deployed. If we change, if we test it out again, send request. Even though I send Tyler, it's now returning hello world because we've hard coded that. We also have some secrets management uh, right here in the dashboard. So if we want to build a function, if we want to modify this function that has to do something with for example, OpenAI API or something, we can do that. And the cool thing is we can actually have AI rewrite this function. So I can highlight everything, hit Command K. This will bring up this nice window. And here I can ask AI uh, what kind of function I want. Okay, so I have asked AI to create a subresist function that calls the OpenAI um, chat completion endpoint using the OpenAI SDK and return the message to the user. And here's what it came up with. I think from quick glance, it looks good. I believe the latest version of the OpenAI SDK is 4.8.0. So let's just update that just in case. Um, but yeah, other than that, it looks good. Let's deploy this function or yeah, deploy it, redeploy it. And I will add the OpenAI API key off screen. Okay, so here we go. I have an OpenAI API key and we can go back to hello world um, and just call this function. Let's see. So we can give it a prompt and say, I there. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this returns a response. There you go. Boom. First try. Hello, how can I assist you today? So yeah, we can have a small little cute conversation right here. What do you think about Superbase? It's pretty 
awesome. Huh. Hopefully AI comes back with a positive reaction. As an AI, I don't have personal opinions or feelings, but users do find Zubus to be pretty powerful and convenient tool to build applications with Postgres database. It offers a lot of... Okay. Yeah, let's... I think it's positive enough. Um, so yeah, that's how you can get started with uh, Super Research Functions. I hope you like this new AI features that we have built in to the dashboard. And even if you are not an AI builder, you can still write your code the old fashioned way. I like that too, from the dashboard. I hope you really like this. I hope this makes it super easy to get started with Super Research Functions.